just want the help. I don't want to be like this anymore. This is 33-year-old Joanna Bates, and she is tired, y'all. She's been through a lot. She currently weighs approximately 825 pounds. And this story came about because she had to leave her eighth-floor apartment, and they couldn't really get her out. And they are saying that it's a fire hazard if she goes back. That was the story that came about earlier this week on Wednesday. Since then, things have changed, but I still wanted to make her, uh, you guys aware of a situation because there are so many people like her. I just did a story, uh, I think about a month ago, where a lady was 600 pounds and it took them days to get her out of her house. So we definitely got to make them aware that you have to think about things like this. Okay, it's just, I'm just laying in the bed. I had nothing to do. Miss Bates resides in Wayne, Indiana at these apartments. And she has severe lymphedema, you all. Let me show you. Her lymphedema is really bad. It causes her, her body, her legs to be in such pain. Her apartment is on the eighth floor. She has not been outside in two years, okay? Two years. Uh, she went through a tragic tragedy where her boyfriend was unalived and she just went into a deep depression and gained over 200 pounds that was back in 2018 and then like i said she hasn't been outside at all in two years so when she called for assistance they had to figure out how to get her out she's on the eighth floor they said they could tie her to something and carry her out the window she said hell no and girl you were right because they would have dropped you they would have had to have something to hold over 825 pounds. It took 15 EMT and paramedics to get her in the elevator and get her down to safety to the hospital. Now, it was the fire department, I think. I don't know. It, stories change. But somehow, it was deemed a fire hazard once she became stabilized for her to go back to her 8th floor apartment. Rightly so. It is a fire hazard. She cannot go back up to 8th floor. Thankfully, the apartment complex said, hey, you know, since the story aired, they said, oh, we walk her back with open arms and they're getting a first floor apartment ready for her. Also, she really wants to help. She is ready to live life again. She is tired of being a drain on her family. Since the story first aired, there have been physical therapists and facilities reaching out to her. Mainly, there's one in Ohio that started a bariatric unit and want her to come. That is so wonderful. Good things came out of this. So she was in the depression. She just wasn't living life, you guys. That could happen to anybody. Now she wants to make a change. I think this really scared her. And it is a fire hazard because who would be able to get her out if a fire happened? People would literally have to put their lives at risk to get her out, which I know that's the job of first responders. But really, you if you know better, do better. So all's well that ends well for Miss Bates. I send prayers out to her. And I want her to be like this picture. I want her to want to take pictures and I want her to be happy again. Just prayers out to her.